So, Jesus' ministry took him from Galilee to Jerusalem. Before entering Jerusalem, Jesus and his disciples, they passed through Jericho. And in Jericho, there was this man who sat by the roadside. This man, he was blind. The Bible calls him the blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus. He sat by the roadside. And he begged for money. He was asking for money from the people. And when he heard that Jesus is coming, he started screaming, calling on Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. The people tried to quiet him down. They said to him, keep quiet. Keep quiet. Stop calling on the, on the Lord. Stop calling on Jesus. But the more they told him to keep quiet, the more this man called on God, the more he called on Jesus. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus heard him. He turned around and he said to them, Call that man for me. Let him come. Call him. So they went and called this man. And they said to him, He is calling you. He is calling you. The moment this man heard that, Jesus is calling him. He threw away his garment. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? He threw away his garment. He got up, threw it away, and went to see the Lord. You know, this man didn't want anything to impede on his forward movement. He didn't want anything to become a stumbling block between him and Jesus. He didn't want anything to become impediment. He didn't want anything to slow him down. He didn't want anything to entangle him whilst he is going to see the Lord. He didn't want anything to come between him and Jesus. So the Bible says, this man threw away his garment. I wonder who this man is. This blind Bartimaeus is you. This blind man is you. Jesus is calling you. He is calling you. But because of the affairs of this world, you can't throw away your garment. You can't leave the things of this world to come to him. You can't stop that thing that is hindering you, that is slowing you down to come to him. He is calling you. He is calling you. Come. Walk to me. Come. But something is slowing you down. Something is holding you up. Your garment. Your garment is slowing you down. This man saw that the garment is going to be an impediment. So he threw the garment away. And he walked to Jesus. Jesus is calling you.
right now he's giving you a call you have heard you have had dreams your heart pounds your heart beats when you hear the word of god you know that this is the time you have to come to the lord you know that every time you hear the word of god you feel sorry for yourself because god is calling you jesus is calling you and you are not ready to throw away your garment and come before him but today today when you hear his voice throw away your garment throw away anything that impedes on your forward movement anything that is going to slow you down whilst you're going before him throw it away throw it away and go is that the bad deal that you have is that the bad skill that you use to cheat people is that the illegal means to have money is that the corruption what is what it is what is this what is slowing you down what is impeding on you coming to the lord when you throw this garment down and you go before him he will change your life this man went to jesus he went to jesus And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? You know one thing about Jesus? He will never override your will. He will never do something that is against your will. He will always let you have your way. He asked this man, What do you want me to do for you? Even though Jesus knew that this man can see, he's so active. What do you want me to do for you? And the man said, that I may receive my sight. He was definite. He was specific. That I may receive my sight. And Jesus said, go. Your faith has made you whole. Matthew chapter 10, Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Go! Your faith has made you whole. And that moment, this man, his eyes were open. His eyes were open at that moment. When you throw away your garment, when you throw away the things that entangles you and you come to Jesus in faith, He will change your life. He will change your life. Your heart desires will be met. This man's heart desire was that he would be able to see. So he threw his garment and went before God, went before Jesus, and his desires were granted. Today I want to encourage you, in the name of Jesus, do not let anything come between you and the call that you have had in your heart, the invitation that Jesus has given unto you. Throw away that garment. Throw away that thing that is coming between you and Jesus. Throw it away. Throw it away and come. He will never leave you or forsake you. He will take care of you. Yes, he will take care of you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord encourage you. May this word encourage you in the name of Jesus. Let us pray.
Father, I thank you in Jesus' name for whoever is listening to this message. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for them, O oh God, that whatever is preventing them from coming to you, O oh God, in Jesus' name, I break it up. I take it away. I use the authority you have given unto me as a son who has received redemption from the blood of Jesus. And I speak into their life right now. If anyone at the sound of my voice, O oh God, wants to give their life to you, but there's something that is really coming between you and them, I stand and I declare in Jesus' name, I take it off, I break it open, I destroy it, I come against it in Jesus' name. May you be blessed, may you receive healing, may you receive comfort, may you be encouraged in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Bye.